You know, our next guest is the definition of a delicious artist. <laughs> Welcome, Siggy Arnejo. Welcome. Hi. And How I, are you? I'm fine. I love the name of this exhibit, Eating Cultures. Yes. Now, Eating Cultures. So is this something that lesbians and Asian Americans have in common, just this love of food? Is this, is this what you were <laughs> telling me before the cameras went on? It is a celebration of food. Uh -huh. And what it is, Eating Cultures is put on by um, AWA and APIC. And as a culture, Asians are not really known for musicians or movie stars or anything. But when you say, when I tell you I'm Filipino, they automatically say, oh, I've had lumpia. I love so it. So this isn't a horrible stereotype as like the white guy when you no, someone no, no, says, no. oh, I'm in, I'm in Lumpok. <laughs> and I don't say, where's the Filipino car dealership? Right. I say, you know, where can I go seasick, right? Right. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. You know, exactly. where can I get my hollow hollow? That's right. So exactly. you don't consider that a horrible stereotype that my instant reaction is, oh, my God, I'm in a Filipino community. I'm going to eat well. Well, it's, it's not a horrible thing, but it's not <laughs> what we should be known for only. So that's why we put this together is uh -huh. so that we can tell everybody we're fabulous artists as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So what we did is this whole exhibit, which starts on Ma May 1st mm -hmm. um, at the uh, So Marts. In is San Francisco. Mm -hmm, at 934 Brennan. Um, we celebrate the history of food and food waste. So how it actually gets to the table, um, what our stereotype, we mm -hmm. kind of make fun of and take seriously the food around, uh, everything around food. Right. Now, you so. mentioned two groups, two acronyms mm -hmm. there. You started APAC and A... APIC and um, AWA. And they A stand for? Asian American Women Artists Association mm -hmm. and Asian Pacific Islander Cultural Center. Now, food is, mm -hmm. I mean, all kidding aside, this is central to many cultures. Exactly. Um, why this exhibit and why do you think it is so important specifically to the Asian American culture? Well, we want to break the stereotype of just being known for our food. Mm -hmm. um, Asian, wom Asian women, for instance, were not just calligraphers and, and watercolors. <laughs> there are some fabulous women there that it, it's a, um, it's a, it has very many um, steps to it. We have video, mm -hmm. sound, um, watercolor, of course, mm -hmm. but we're contemporary artists, mm -hmm. and we want to break that stereotype. And what better way to do that than with food, because so everybody yeah. knows about food. So you're turning the stereotype on its head a little bit. Exactly. But can I eat? I mean, am I when I go to the exhibit, well, is there going to be food? <laughs> there will be at the opening. Yeah. La Cucina will be doing the catering there. Right, so. right, right. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it, like, for instance, there's a one artist there that, in her country, there's a radio station that they just eat on the radio station. And that's for people who are living alone so they could turn on that radio station and, and have not someone to eat with. Yes. And that's what th that's her performance art is that she's eating on radio. Boy, no, that, yeah, but I mean, you could lie. I mean, you know, I've heard of people faking orgasm, but how do you fake chewing? I mean, you know, how do you know they're eating? They're just going. Yeah, it's well, a radio I, mean, show. I mean, it's like, you know, like Bugs Bunny where. You know, crack yeah. cracking on a, a, a carrot and stuff. But she has all this food out there. So you could see that she's opening a thing yeah, of potato yeah. chips or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then there's another artist that is actually, uh, she vi videotapes, um, she has a film that about Bibinka. And she e e she takes the, s the students or actors or whoever mm -hmm. they are, and they, they go through and see how they made it and how they how the grandparents made it and they tell stories about how that food you know how they so really it's not like just art it sounds like it's also part anthropology and, exactly. and part sociology mm -hmm. now one of your art pieces is called sausage correct uh no it is actually uh no more sundays no more sundays uh-huh well uh, maybe it's just because i love sausage yeah. but what, what there what is the an art artist that uh, that does the sausage thing but i don't remember what <laughs> what it was exactly but no more Sundays is about um, when my father my father was a migrant worker mm -hmm. and uh, and this is goes with the food ways um, also with the exhibit many people don't realize that the Filipinos were v are, are migrant workers mm -hmm. you know the new movie doesn't say anything about Filipinos 
My father was a uh, migrant worker for years. And so when he died, when, when, when my, grand, my dad was in the migrant worker, and he, we would, every Sunday we'd get together and we'd cook food and my grandmother would cook. And this was the family intergenerational exactly, gathering. Exactly, uh-huh. And so when he died and all the, the migrant, all the guys were died, there'd be no more Sundays. Mm -hmm. So my piece is actually telling the story of how I feel about not having that, that food, mm -hmm. you know, culture anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's a, it's a, co a collage of, of feeling, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 really, it's really moving for me, anyway. What have you learned about yourself and your culture as a lesbian and also as a Filipina from this work, from this exhibit? What have you discovered about yourself? You know, they say every artist, every time they create, finds out something about themselves. I found out that I am, my, I speak from the heart and that I'm very sensitive to the Filipino culture and the migrant workers. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, I took it for granted for a long time that my dad was a migrant worker and now I'm, I'm getting to be, there's a sense of purpose for myself and this artwork. So now my artwork actually, I dig deep into myself and I actually express myself through art that mm -hmm. way. So how political is this exhibit for you personally but also in general? You know, I think I think it's pretty political. I mean, us as wi Asian women, we want to break that stereotype mm -hmm. of, you know, being subservient or, you know, just put in the in the kitchen all the time or whatever. We actually are vibrant females that donate to the community and contribute to our society. So and our, our, through our artwork, mm -hmm. you know, we're a diverse group of women that, you know, are, are very dedicated to the, to the cause of bringing that to light and provoking dialogue. Right. So since this exhibit is about, you know, turning stereotypes on its head, does that mean that you don't like to cook or you don't want to be known for cooking? Or do well, you Well, I, I, I have to admit. I Come out of the closet. I know. I like to cook. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit it. I, I love my cooking days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love to cook. I do. And I do cook my traditional meals, like adobo and, you know, and that type of thing. So mm -hmm. I do cook pancit. Yeah. No deal. What is the favorite part of this exhibit for you? Which, which is the absolute thing that you think is going to stick with the audience the most? I actually think the artists. Mm -hmm. I actually think these... These are a group of wonderful, wonderful artists that are very, very talented, and they have something to say. They definitely have something to say. They have a point of view. Each of them are different, and I'm really, really happy to be part of this whole in, um, um, collection. Um, I think it's, it's. I think people are going to be surprised, and I think they're going to be pleased. I really do. Yeah. In our last few moments, talk to me about what do you think is, well, the most artistic. Filipino food. Oh wow, the most artistic. I don't necessarily mean the most delicious, but I mean if you know, it's called eating culture. So we're talking about the juxtaposition of art and food. What's the most artistic Filipino? Wow, food? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I think artistically, I have to. I have to fall back on my little my little lumpias because they're so. <laughs> I just I just love the way they look and they're so you know perfect and. You, the dipping sauce and the yeah, it's this, just it's it's it's, it's it's art. It's tactile. It's delicious. It's wonderful. And it's portable. And it's portable. <laughs> <laughs> We've been speaking with Siggy Arnejo about the upcoming city eating cultures, a eating delicious culture. bit of art. That's right. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm David Perry. This is Ten Percent. We'll see you next week.